Hello again, Mr. Steamed viewers. It is I, Jekyll Stein Gray, and today we are going to continue and or maybe finish Grey Skies Dark Waters. I don't know, I have like 40 minutes until my next class starts. So, um, uh, this song is actually really good. Um, I needed to turn up the audio, but uh, it's too late to do that now. Um, anyway... Um, uh, we're gonna load this save, and we're gonna get started. So, the last, the last video, the encoding was pretty bad, which, which sucked, but it wasn't, fortunately, it wasn't so bad that it, you know, that I, that was unsalvageable. So, um, apologies, um, esteemed viewers, um, for that, and I apologize if it's looking bad right now, but, um... Uh, what are you gonna do? You know. <laughs> um. So let's check the to-do list. Let's see. More dad's journal. All right. I'm gonna talk to Gus because Gus is always fun to talk to. Um. So uh, let's go to the foyer. Got Judge Lady. Second floor. Uh, Gusty boy. Hello. Hello, brother. Nothing, dude. Vegan play is awesome. I'm going to put a, um, there should be a, like, quote thing of a fun story, a Jekyll's Done Great Talks episode of a fun story I had in a play. Um, I'm going to put it up somewhere, it should be somewhere on screen, somewhere in this time vicinity. Sarcastic dude and sarcastic chick, forgettable dude and forgettable chick. I need to do a to do a video about like over the sarcastic productions of my thoughts on Red's kind of views on things. Um, uh, is Dogberry the uh, is he Prince trustworthy? I actually did had to be the old constable in our town. I'm I'm mad that they got to do Shakespeare in high school. I would have loved to try out as like Macbeth. Oh, maybe I'd be better as um um uh, maybe that would be better as um, like Macduff or, um, Banquo. I love Macbeth. It's very proto-gothic. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I feel like these are all going to get the same response. Yes, it is. You're goddamn right. Okay, first of all, that might not be true. But second of all, I think that it might... I think that actually has... I think that sometimes, like, frogs have fell from the sky or something. I mean, people have thought that the apocalypse was was stupid, was coming for much stupider reasons. Like, the oper the whole internet historian, end of the world, op Operation Rapture, which was mwah! Um...
Ugh. Of course he wouldn't want to. Why would he want to marry a freaking Rockefeller? Blech. She was a swan person. Yeah, seriously. Oh yeah, by the way, I apologize, esteem viewers. I was going to record three other videos yesterday, and I didn't do any of them. Yeah, that was my bad. Encyclopedia... What's their last name? I love the idea that all the kids have, like, bits and pieces of their dad's diary, and he doesn't seem to be concerned at all. Doubt. I would love it if they just had one thing where it's an L.A. Noir, you know, doubt, lie, or truth button. Lena's like, I want the truth! And Gus is like, you can't handle the truth! I get I love how all the kids have different parts of the dad's diary and he doesn't even seem to notice. Uh Analyze his motives. I was gonna say, you make him sound like like he actually killed your mom, but if you really believe that then why aren't you going to ah whatever? All right, see ya, meeting me. Again, showing that this game probably didn't have much of a budget, um, uh, because the uh, there's not it wasn't a bending down animation. <sighs> Alrighty, our conversation last night was disturbed by teenagers in the woods. We had to run behind a downed tree. Sorry, I'm just getting my phone to a better location so that I can more quickly look at the time. Um, uh, I had to run behind a downed tree so that Margaret wouldn't be seen by a pack of high schoolers bent on smoking and drinking in one of their haunts by the shore. Margaret doesn't like teenagers, so I don't blame her. Hey! <laughs> I didn't like teenagers when I was one. I can relate, much less now. Her companions, by the way, don't entirely disapprove of me. I've seen them only briefly as shadows between the trees. I confuse them, she says, as does her interest in speaking with me at all. When they talk about humans, she told me, they prefer to keep their interact. When they talk with humans, she told me, they prefer to keep their interactions short. Jack invited me over to watch the game in two days. I, didn't, I don't think I'll go. All that seems utterly pointless now. November 25th, so over two weeks after the last entry. I'm teaching Margaret to read. I realized a few days ago that she doesn't know how. She's still like a child in some ways. It frightens me, but also excites me. Not because I have to get have to get to have control over her, because she's like, okay. Um, yeah, I can kind of see that. Um, I also, you know, I also wouldn't... I mean, I would... I don't know how romantic the relationship is at this point. I think it's pretty obvious that, and I don't know this for a fact, but it seems like that's the mom. Um, but the, if I were to be in a romantic relationship with someone, I would want, you know, someone who is very intelligent, someone who is able, who's able to talk about these types of things. 
But Margaret doesn't seem like she's unintelligent, just uninformed. Um, and, yeah, whatever. I'm going to dig my... I'm going to stop digging myself in the hole now. Um, working through The Hobbit, I read a few pages aloud to her at a new meeting place by the Willow Creek Park Playground. Then we break down the words and the syllables. She's entranced by the idea of hobbits and dwarves, which I find ironic because she's just as fantastical as they are, yeah. I still wonder every day if I am having delusions, if I'm imagining all this and sitting by, uh, by myself in the woods, talking to nobody. <laughs> For the first time in my life, the quality of my work is suffering. I don't care. I mean, <laughs> if you're asking yourself if you're delusional... To me, that that says that you're not delusional, but maybe maybe you are. I don't know. Um, I do like how the authors were obviously cognizant of the you know born sexy yesterday trope um, and the um, um, uh, well the born sexy, which I will link into the um, the to pop culture detectives video on that. I mean, you've probably already seen it if you're watching, or the odds are much more likely that you've seen that than you've seen this. Um, and uh, the um, uh, the uh, animal rights trope, which I talked about last last time yesterday, last in the last video. Um, uh, December thirteenth was it on a Friday? I don't know, and I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Uh, here are some adjectives that describe Margaret. Curious, good-natured, strange, intellectual, artistic, friendly, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay. You didn't need to... She makes me want to write poetry. I've never wanted to write poetry before in my life. Oh, 20, December 24th. God help me, I think I'm falling in love. I'm falling in love with something I can't even be sure is real. I'm falling in love with someone I can't even explain. Christmas is tomorrow. When I was little, my brothers and I would, would try to wait up all night, our chest tight with excitement, wondering what we would get. It was never much, but I didn't know that until later. Now I'm just as excited, but it isn't for presents, it's for Margaret. Um, cool. That, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna move away. Uh, I'm just gonna not, I don't know. Something about that feels, like, it kind of feels possessive, but also none of the interactions... Have been, I, was, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Thought I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Um, I think that unintentionally, like, rhymed and had the same rhythm. I don't know. <laughs> I've gotten my mother tickets to a traveling Broadway play. For Jack and Sarah, a gift certificate to the Italian restaurant on Main Street so that they can have a night to themselves. For Margaret, I've gotten a gilt-edged leather-bad copy of Le Mort d'Arte. Um, Death of Arthur, for those of you who don't know. Um, it will be a little beyond her, but the other part of the gift is that I'll help her through it, just like I did with The Hobbit. I don't want to write down how much it paid for it. A little silly buying a thing like that, but we'll see. She loved it. Merry belated Christmas to all. That's cool. Ooh. Scandalous. Um... Uh, Let's check the to-do list. So that's not the whole journal, I guess. Um, uh, okay. Let's go to the hallway. Again, it's interesting how much, you know, stylistically the stakes from like Grim Fandango and whatnot, but it also um, doesn't... Um, uh, it, it also is very, um, um, uh, uh, what was I going to say? The, uh, but it's, you know, design wise, it's mostly, it's very basic adventure stuff, which I actually prefer. You know, uh, although one thing I did like about Life is Strange is that it did, it was, there was kind of an emphasis on, um, there, it, it was kind of, you know, I still need to play um, Telltale's The Walking Dead, but it kind of seems like it, um, but it kind of seems like it, um, 
What was I going to say? <laughs> um, uh, the... Um, oh yeah, so, but it kind of seems like it was over, it was trying to just be, no, no bullcrap puzzles, you know, we're going to, it's going to be a hundred percent, like, quick time events and narrative choices and whatnot, and Life is Strange kind of felt like it was, it was trying to at least to bring back puzzles, but also not in the way that felt, like, manipulative, all right, is there anything else I have to do in the house before I leave? Oh, Merle's room. Um... Uh, all right, we're going to go to Merle's room, and then we're going to talk to Vi, Violet, and um, and then I don't know. For some reason, you know, I, well, I was, I watched Mark Brown's video on Shovel Knight, um, earlier, and, um, uh, I was like... I don't, I, I suddenly have a desire to play and talk about Shovel Knight, but I'm going to get it, have to get it on PC, and that'll probably have to be later this year. But I am planning on playing it. So is there something, I, so I can't move it around. Huh. Alrighty. Let's go talk to old Violet. That's the office. Actually, I actually want to check out the swan picture. I don't know if I did yesterday. And by yesterday, obviously, I mean last time. So I'm gonna go to the kitchen. The kitchen, and we're gonna go out into the backyard. Then we're gonna leave the yard. I'm gonna walk to the tracks, talk to old Violet. Okay, this song, I don't know if you can hear it, but this song is kind of reminding me of Where the Water Tastes Like Wine, which is one of those, like, oh, I gotta get to that eventually games. Um, the problem is I looked it up on, on howlongtobeat.com, and it's like it's like 20 hours long, which I was not expecting. Um, It's also funny how this music reminds me of where the water tastes like wine because it's it hasn't really um, reminded me of that so far. Um, like the most of the music doesn't sound like that. Which I'm not gonna look at just because it's gonna get this video demonetized if I ever get monetized. It's nice to play to play an adventure game where I don't have to um, uh, um, where I don't ha I don't feel like I have to make a um, uh, um, uh, I don't feel like I have to look up a walkthrough. This feels like it's almost trying to be a 50-50 hybrid of, you know, Telltale and, and to a lesser extent Life is Strange puzzles and more traditional adventure games like Grim Fandango and maybe even The Last Door, which isn't traditional. You know, it came out, you know, started in 2013, and, um, but the, um, uh, um, but, uh, but um, uh, uh, I uh, but it still has. There are still moments where I had to look up a walkthrough and whatnot. Um, uh, 
Not sure. I didn't know I had them. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to break into into a part of our house that. What principles? <laughs> Since when do you have principles? Okay, little thief Merle. Can I walk further? Can I walk past the walkway? Alright, yeah, the uncle. So, if the mom is the swan lady, what I want to know is, why is she uh, gone in now? Why? What happened last year? Uh, uh, that um, caused her to to want to go back to that, that caused her to, to leave, basically, and go back into the ocean. Be among the sea peoples. Weren't the sea peoples like those mysterious? culture that was linked to the Bronze Age collapse or something? I don't know. Wait, shoot, I didn't want to walk home. I wanted to go to the park. Go into the park. I'm going to the gym. <laughs> Yeah, that, uh, that's a reference to The Good Place, which is a good show. You should watch it if you haven't. Hey, Merle, I need your, I need your, I need you to give me plus one lock picking. Can you do that for me, Merle? Slips are a 20. Slips, slips are a 20. You didn't hear nothing now, you hear? I don't know why you want to understand why people do the things they do. She's she's like she kind of reminds me of Maggie Simpson of all characters like she's super smart and also kind of evil ish. Like, she's either going to be a really brilliant, you know, writer or critic or whatever, or, or serial killer or, or both. <laughs> Goddamn right, I'm surprised. Again, I almost, I had a, like, the first two, like, notes or sounds of that bird sound like the da-da-da-da-da. games. Oh, man. I do love To Kill a Mockingbird. I do get that it's, looking back on it, I do see that it's kind of, you know, okay, I'm not going to just say, I'm not going to say kind of. It is pretty white savory and all that, and it's, it's one of those, like, I feel like I should hate it more than I do, but it's just so well written, and I love it. I also do like the idea of Atticus being a racist in Ghost of a Watchman. Uh, wait, getting it from a tree? Um, I don't. I haven't read Ghost of a Watchman, so I don't know if 
if it was well okay i don't know why she turned away from the goal there but okay um i i do like the the idea of a um uh, uh, um, I do like the idea of it, um, but again, I haven't read, I have not read Go Set a Watchman, to do list, the tree on the beach, okay, I actually wonder if I could have gotten the tree on the beach before I knew that it was there, oh, there's a knot, I wonder, again, I wonder if I could have, yeah. I mean, Boo Radley. Boo Radley's an interesting character. I, I, if I remember right, he was like thought of as um, got an achievement for that. Um, uh, the, if I remember right, Boo Radley was like not evil. Like they thought he was like this monster, but then he wasn't. Um, but. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird might have been the first time I had heard of the Gothic, you know, as a more specifically Southern Gothic, because um, it definitely has those elements. I want to see what she says when you click on the bike rack. So how big is this town? Because it kind of feels like it's a really, you know, small, close-knit town where, you know, everyone knows everyone, that kind of thing. People aren't stupid. Let us head inside. Foyer. Wait, a feather? Huh. Okay, this is totally... This is totally... The mom is totally a bird. A bird person. The mom... Alright, we gotta see what's inside the office. Of our mysterious father. That's a pretty painting. Wait, she's narrating in the past tense now? Has she always been doing it? And if she hasn't, why am I just noticing that now? And if she has, why is she suddenly... Yeah, so now she's narrating in the present tense. So... <laughs> I, I would love to see the other, the companion one, which was, I never go up against a Sicilian when death is on the line. You know, I feel like references are, are pretty, you know, generally kind of lazy sometimes. And not, not always, definitely. But, um, but on the one hand, quoting the Princess Bride is, um, is the is kind of is kind of just you know easy on the other hand it's the princess freaking bride so another note january 6th another note on my work it is growing increasingly depressing a fish kill in maryland involved in the deaths of over ten thousand animals here it hasn't been so bad but we'll see january 18th when i was a little boy i thought i'd marry marta from down the street or mrs flaherty my third grade teacher. <laughs> then when I was a freshman in college, I thought I'd marry Krista after we graduated. We broke up, of course, sophomore year. Then I graduated from college and didn't think I'd marry anybody. Um, what if I married Margaret? So many things I'd have to ask her. Does she know what marriage is? Okay, you might need to, you might need to, you might need, if she doesn't know what marriage is, you might need to wait until she does. <laughs> um, uh, and has time to, like, get used to the idea. Um, 
January 25th. No, I could never ask her. She isn't human. I mean, she's a, she's a swat. I mean, technically no, but also yes. You know, like she's technically not a person because she is a swan person, but she also clearly exhibits all the, you know, the passion, the curiosity, you know, all the stuff that makes humans humans. Um, I'm not sure I could live without her. Took my mother out to lunch today. The whole experience made me think about how we've never been particularly close. Mother worked to support Elijah, Thomas, and me during my entire childhood, and I'm not sure she ever understood my sickness or my desire to leave Avitt's Landing. Uh, does, by sickness, does he mean depression? Um, we don't have much in common, but she is still my mother, and I love her. I found myself wishing I could tell her about Margaret, but what would I tell her? That I can't even prove the existence of this woman? Mother is in her 60s now. Her eyesight is declining, and for some reason now I'm thinking, probably because of my Maggie Simpson reference, now I'm thinking of Seymour Skinner. Although Mike Pence might also be, like, more appropriate in there. Mother's in her 60s now. Her eyesight is declining at a fast rate, so she had me read the menu for her. Depresses me. I feel very young and alive these days, but I know that one day I will look as tired as Mother. Such is life. Such is life. Of course, I mean, I'm barely an adult, so that's that stuff just feels like this nebulous, you know. I mentioned this a lot, but over the summer, my one of my, my great-grandpa, by only remaining one, um, told me that, like, he, um, uh, like, all his friends were dead, and, like, and I was sitting there like, that sucks, but I don't, I don't know how to, how to, um, how to, respond to that because i don't really like that's that's such a distant it feels so distant for me you know i mean it's weird because he was like again he grew up in like the 30s so he was his world was very different than mine um and and it's it's weird well one it's weird you know i told the story that he's actually a democrat um <laughs> which is still i i don't i i, I it's amazing uh, i was like I was at his house one time when he wasn't there when it was just we were it was me and my dad and my one of my sisters and we were waiting for them to get back and my dad was like my I was like dad there, he has a Hillary Clinton book on his shelf and he's like oh yeah he's a democrat and I was like wait what my 90 year old um presumably straight uh, presumably cis um white male um mormon great grandfather is a is a democrat <laughs> uh that's pretty cool um, yeah, and, and, um, he, uh, and, and so, and he also talked, he was also told me once, like, yeah, no one, no one cares about what his old timer, none of the young people care about what his old timers think, and I'm, I can see why he would think that, I think a lot of people don't, and I, but I, I told him, and I meant it, like, I... I don't, um, like, I, I can't speak for everyone, but I did find value in our talk, because I did, I, I did really want to talk to him. Anyway, random tangent over. Um, the FCC will get mad at me if I go on too many tangents. <laughs> I love the idea that the FCC even knows who I am. Um, Margaret told me she wished she could paint. So I have bought her paper and watercolors. For someone with no artistic instruction, she's remarkably good. And now she sits in my living room and paints whatever is around her. The warm sofa, the salt and pepper shakers, a mug of half-drunk coffee, whatever. I let her try coffee and she told me she likes it. It's the bitterness of the flavor, she said. That's good. Plucked up the courage to ask what would happen if she didn't migrate back with the rest of her kind. She gave me a strange look, said, I don't know, and kept painting. So I kissed the top of her head and let it drop. It's probably good. Probably a good move. Um, Margaret has told me that she wants to change her name to Vivian. Vivian's the mom, I think. I had given her more books on Arthurian legends after she finished the Mort d'Arthur. D'Arthur. Um, this kind of reminds me of... Um, if you've ever read the Fablehaven series... Um, and this is a very mild spoiler from the first book... Um, which I need to, those books, I don't wonder if they hold up or not, but there's a character who's a former naiad. Her name's Lena, and she, um, this kind of reminds me of that. Um, uh, to go to the Lady of the Lake, she says she prefers the sound of the name Vivian. When I told her that it came from the Latin word Vivanus, which means lively, she liked it even more. 
Feels odd. I liked Margaret, but Vivian it is. Next fifth, there is an open position for a biology adjunct professor at East Coast University. Thinking about applying, the university is big enough that if I were to get tenure, there would be plenty of money available for research projects. Tenure is getting more and more hard to come by these days, so... Yeah, if you can get it, go for it. Um, I can finally dive in, delve into ornithology. In a, I think my dad has tenure. Um, so yeah, anyway, I can finally delve into ornithology in a professional sense, not just as a hobby. I know what kind of project I'd do now. I'm st I'd be studying tundra swan behavior, trying to pin down the science behind the phenomenon that is Vivian and others like her. And perhaps there are many kinds of animals who have a human form. The possibilities make my head spin. If I could prove the existence of Vivian's species, I'd be making one of the important, most important biological discoveries of the last few centuries. I'd like to tell that to her, but I don't want to feel like uh, she's simply a bug under her last to me. And I can see that. I... I also think that there's probably a reason why they didn't reveal themselves. Although they also don't seem very, like... They seem wary around humans, but also it's not like the general, like, we must kill anyone who has contact with the human world, you know? Um, or even, like, the, the, like, Little Mermaid style of, like, the human world is forbidden, or whatnot, you know? Um... She will be migrating back to the breeding ground soon. I still haven't decided what to do. I never had to make a decision like this. Well, you know, I doubt very. I mean, people have probably had to fit to decisions that are similar to that, but um, or that felt like that, but weren't actually like that. So I'm probably gonna only. Have, I only got a couple minutes left. Um, so those are the abstracts. <laughs> I mean, I probably shouldn't be laughing at that. Uh, or actually, I know I shouldn't be laughing at that. It kind of reminds me of I I watched on the basis of sex recently the the R B G movie about it, and I I think it's interesting how she used the case of kind of reverse Risperdal. I. I used I used to take Risperidone, which I think is like maybe a generic for Risperdal. Um, I I I, lean, I actually like kind of weaned myself, you know, with with when, after talking to my doctor and all that um, earlier this year um, because it had adverse effects on my weight and whatnot. Um, yeah, so. It's basically, um, let's see, exit the office. Okay, what else is there to find? Is that the Hobbit? I don't know why, but for some reason, that that book that I, mean, I think it's the symbol that kind of looks like a you know Tolkien esque rune. Oh, a letter. My dearest Robert, I have to leave now. I'm very sorry it's come to this, but I can't stay any longer. Before I leave, though, I'm writing you this note because there are a few things I want you to know. I have loved you as my husband for a long time and as my first real friend in this world for even longer. I I have I have come to love this town. As strange and restrictive as it is to me, with all its gossiping people and rundown bars and small streets. I love our house. I'm actually getting a bit choked up here. I love our house and how close we live to the, sh to the shore and how you've let me lead my own life at, the Willow, Creek, at Willow Creek Park. Most of all, I love our children, Lena, so spirited and caring and so observant of everything around her. Violet, always sensitive and musical and such a good listener, even when she pretends not to be. Gus, our baby boy... So ferociously intelligent I'm a, that I'm afraid for him sometimes. And Merla, always excitable and full of infectious enthusiasm. Do you remember when Lena was just born and we, we were so afraid we would drop her that we carried her like a piece of china? I do. I wish we could go back this time. But our lives are different now and I know things about you, about me, that I didn't know then. We can't go back and I can't stay. I will miss the children terribly, but I know you'll take care of them. Please don't think all of these years have meant nothing to me. 
In fact, I don't think two people could have been happier than we have been. Oh man. That that's that's sad. But beautiful. And now I can see why they compared this to To the Moon. <laughs> um I I the talk studio I was gonna do was actually about why I didn't, you know, why my kind of weird insecurity about not crying when I played To the Moon. I'll probably record that later today or tomorrow or sometime in the future. Because um, I actually was going to put it at the beginning of the last video, but the last video was already really long and I didn't. I, I Even before then, I was like, yeah, that'll probably kill the pacing immediately. So, yeah. Um, anyway. Um, oh, shoot. Um, did not mean to do that. Um... I thought it was just going to exit to the main menu, but I'm sure there was a thing I missed. Anyway, um, I don't want you to be looking at the black screen for too long, so YouTube things, like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, ring the bell if you want to get notified. Um, Twitter and, and um, Patreon and links to this game and stuff are in the, this game and the others I mentioned in the last video or in the description below. Um, all that jazz. Uh, thank you for watching, Steam viewers. I have to get to class. Um, and um, I'll probably finish this game. Maybe I'll probably finish recording it later today. I also, before that, I'm going to do that, try and finish that Dragon Ketzer. Um, then Night in the Woods is next for homework communism. Okay, bye.